What's up everybody? It's Justin at SNK Greenhouse and today I'm giving you my top seven perennials for deer resistance. Let's go. The first one on our list is catmint or nepeta. This is a very fuzzy, fragrant foliage that deers absolutely detest. This variety in particular is called Cat's Pajamas. It's a variety that stays very short and compact, really great for edging those sunny walkways, rose gardens, vegetable gardens, because it is a great pollinator. It's not a heavy feeder. It reliably comes back. And each year you can count on, during the early summer, these beautiful lavender bluish blooms. Next on the list is lavender. And although we enjoy the sweet fragrance, bringing these inside, smelling them through the house, they are rarely on the menu for deer. There are many varieties of lavender out there. This one's called Summer Romance. It's another one by Proven Winners. It grows about 18 inches tall. It's a long bloomer, which is why I like this one. But what I love about lavender is once it's established, it's extremely drought tolerant. So you don't have to run that irrigation too often. The third one on the list is Baptisia. This one is very reliable. It has an intense taproot, which makes it hard to transplant. Make sure you find a permanent location for this one. But that taproot is the same reason why deer are not gonna touch this one. Baptisia is a part to full sun perennial that comes in many different colors like yellow, blue, violet. This one's called Sparkling Sapphire. It does have stunning blue blooms emerging from the top during the summer. It grows in a gorgeous clump. And like I said, Baptisia lasts for a long time and can live up to 50 years in your landscape. Not everyone is a fan of eating onions and that includes deer and rabbit. Introducing Allium. This is a really great part to full sun perennial that blooms late summer going into fall. You can see right here, we're in the month of June and we already got these buds on this one. And when they open up, they're beautiful purple whimsical balls. Uh, this one's called Millennium and another great variety is Serendipity. Those both come from plant. If you want a bulb type, look into the one called Gladiator because of the bloom size on those. You'll find that pollinators love these. It's not uncommon any sunny afternoon when these are blooming for bees to be hovering over them and even butterflies will join in on the fun. Number five on the list is coneflower or echinacea. If you wanna add some gorgeous color to your landscape that lasts all summer long, make sure you plant some coneflowers as they are great for full sun, drought tolerant, deer detest their spiny little cones, and hey, in the wintertime, leave the blooms, that way you have some winter interest and it'll feed your goldfinches. Oh. Wanna add some drama to your landscape? None better than pyromania or red hot poker. These part to full sun perennials grow 30 to 36 inches tall. I have two varieties with me right here. I have Rockets Red Glare and Orange Blaze and these beautiful spiky flowers emerge through the finely textured grass and rebloom all summer long. So even when you don't have blooms, you still get some interest that the deer hate. And finally on the list is Bee Balm or Monarda. No, unfortunately, I don't have any with me here at the nursery today, but I didn't want to leave this one out because it is favorited among native plant enthusiasts. Now, once deer get a whiff of that minty scented foliage, they pretty much steer clear. I have to mention that Bee Balm is also an excellent pollinator. It pretty much attracts anything such as your hummingbirds, your bees, your butterflies, and sometimes even your neighbors. Monarda is a part to full sun perennial. Like most perennials grows in a clump, comes back fuller and fuller each year, blooms most of the summer, comes in a ton of varieties of colors and shapes and sizes, and they are most of all very reliable. Well, there you go, folks. There's my top seven perennials for deer resistance. And I have to throw in a gentle disclaimer that deer resistant does not mean deer proof. So if the deer are hungry enough, they still may munch on these perennials. And with that said, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Or if you're not new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you get updated every time we release a new video. And until next time, become a plant person.